very interesting tea. Okay, guys, let me sit down. Ugh. I got this candle at Ikea. Let me go ahead and, you know Ikea sells candles, girl, where you buy furniture, Ikea, Ikea, whatever. Uh, I like the intention today. I set the intention on the candle. Positivity and good vibes. Okay, let's talk about it. Okay, there's this rumor circulating that you cannot shop at Ikea past 27 years old. That's, I don't know, let me know what you think about that. Very controversial topic. Speaking of controversial topics, Jaclyn Hill is in the drama again. Can you believe that? Views must be low. Okay, here we are. Listen, I have a lot to say. I might rattle a few feathers. We're going to talk about it. So basically, Jaclyn Hill came for drama channels, commentary channels, TikTokers. She came for Nick Snyder, Dustin Daly, Rich Lux. I like to say, like to say Reach Lux, girl. But now on TikTok, they say Roach Lux, whatever, girl. I'm not no Roach. When the lights go on, Roach is running high. I'm right here. I ain't going nowhere, girl. Okay? Hashtag justice for Morphe employees. If you know, you know. So check this out, I have an interview. I got on the phone with the Morphe head and we did a one hour interview and the interview drops hopefully very, very soon. Um, the interview did get pushed back due to legal reasons, but the interview is still scheduled to come out. So stay tuned, keep it locked in on my Twitter, on my Instagram, on my TikTok, I'm TikTok famous now and all that stuff like that. It's gonna be a one hour interview. We're gonna drop it. It's gonna be huge. So Jaclyn Hill came for drama channels, commentary channels, and everyone girl. If you ever had anything negative to say about drama channel and Jaclyn Hill, she came for us. I got tons of negative comments. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I got so many negative comments that are really bad. Probably they came from Michaela too, but like again, this all started this, let us not forget, because people that like to twist and turn it up, this all started because this innocent girl on TikTok made a TikTok and said, when your ex-boyfriend is dating someone YouTube or TikTok famous, which is Michaela and the girl, okay? So then I made a TikTok saying, this is the girl. She's coming out saying that she dated Michaela's fiance. Will she spill tea? It's all, you know. Then Michaela got upset and said, you do not have the right to talk about my husband. Even though she has made countless TikToks with him, there have been countless articles out there on the internet about his struggle with drug addiction and stuff like that. She outed all that and, and then she reiterated it. And let us not forget, she went on to expose the ex-girl, the ex-lover, for having a drug addiction too. And she didn't even want that tea to be spilled. Cause she told me on TikTok Live, she said, you know what, I didn't, that was my story to tell and Michaela spilled my drug addiction story and all that online. I don't want people to know that. Let me, that's my tea to spill. That's like knowing someone is gay, let them come out when they want to come out. Don't out them. So anyways, but girl, you can't say no wrong. Can't say no wrong. So anyways, I digress. Then Jaclyn Hill decided to piggyback off that drama and basically say, I've been, <sighs> Getting so many negative comments on my life due to these channels who come for me. And it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me put my foot up in it. Jacqueline Hill, a lot of these channels, when you do something, they talk about it. Okay? But that's just the bottom line. If you come out with the hairy lipstick, girl, and people talk about it, that's it. People are going to talk about the hairy lipsticks. No one's making that up for views. When you, I remember one time, this was years ago. You have to be like a real, like you have to be really in it to know this, to remember this. When Jacqueline Hill sat down on the video and she was like, uh, we're going to launch this new collection, but the website was hacked. We were DDoSed. The, I'm DDoS, the website was hacked. We had hackers and we had millions of people on the website ready to buy. And I'm like, wait a minute, what are you talking about? This was years ago, this was lot, many years ago. People believed it. I'm sitting here and I'm, now I look back and I'm like, I remember that was such a lie. Anyways, this stuff like that, so people would call it out, okay? So it's not like people just sitting here, just making up lies and rumors. They're basically saying their opinion, their conspiracy allegedly, and they're talking about what Jack and Hill is doing, just like we're doing today. Justice for Cozy. Hashtag Justice for Cozy. If you know, you know. So let me let me tell you what. So Jack and Hill decided to come for the commentary kids and people on TikTok came for me and she tagged specific people. We got bombarded with so many negative comments. Whoop de whoop de woo. And and then she threw in her dead husband, girl. Listen, I'm not gonna talk about Jacqueline Hill's husband. 
I, I remember specifically me and other drama channels have said we made a video talking about how we're not going to make a video about Jacqueline Hill's husband. And I'm going to stay with that trend. I'm not talking about Jacqueline Hill's dead husband. I'm not going into that. But he is long gone. He has passed away. That's all I'm going to say. She basically was saying that we, dramatary, whatever, dramatary, that's what I'm calling, I'm a dramatary channel now. That dramatary, it's a commentary and drama channel. Dramatary, that's what I am, okay? And I'm a beauty guru, and I'm TikTok famous, and I'm a channel review channel. So check it out. I'm so upset right now, I can't barely breathe right now, I'm so upset. Hear that, this corset's really tight, girl. So check this out. Jaclyn Hill used that momentum of Michaela's situation, which to me was all BS because Michaela, no one knew about all that until Michaela brought it up herself. She spilled her own tea. These people are laying out their, their cards for free. They're showing their hands for free. And we're just talking about it. Jacqueline Hill used that to not only piggyback off Michaela's and her ex-boyfriend's drama, but then to also throw in her late husband in it as well and say how she was tired of it and people were being so mean and rude and then literally the next day i saw this on her instagram story alluding basically to her new palette about to come out so my this is what i'm saying she used her dead husband and she used her tiktok famous friend who had a, a slight inconvenience and spun that into this huge drama to sell makeup girl but, and I'm going to tell you what, because I have it. Where's that? I have it right here. I have so much stuff up here. I have it. Jaclyn Hill came out with this palette uh, in the beginning of Jaclyn Cosmetics. Like, I literally buy this stuff, and I hoard it, and I keep it just for different purposes just like this. All right. She came out with this palette, okay? Uh, peach, almond, light banana, and caramel. This is the palette right here. This is it. It's really cool. It's like a brightener. It's really good stuff. I like it. I actually use it. It's great. You can see it's been used. And then I put it away. Okay. So here we go. She basically came out with this as individuals and she's calling it complexion, right? Let's not forget the packaging before this one was the two in one, which is like the blush and bronzer thing. This is really cute too. This is in shade Pick Me Up and Oh Honey. Really great shade. Like I said, I keep these just for references and I like them. These were really great from her collection. Then she drops this, here's my, my reveal. And I'm thinking the gloves are off. The gloves are off. I'm thinking she was going to do something fun. Like, I don't know, like, this was her opportunity. Listen, Morphe's bankrupt right now. Morphe's going out of business. They're sh shutting down stores left and right. Forma Brands is in trouble. Can Jaclyn Hill save them? I thought this was it. I thought this was going to get them out of financial red. I was, my opinion, I was like, oh, maybe we should do something fun like a Willy Wonka palette. And, and it smells like chocolate. Oh, so the, this, pa the, this palette is so cute. The little Wonka bar. You get the golden ticket in it. You get that. Love it. Love it. Who, who made this one? She Glam, girl. She Glam. Oh, okay. Well, maybe she'll come out with the jumbo, jumbo size bronzers. Remember, extra shades coming soon. She said, "This is Chanel, Chanel jumbo size." Look, this is their existing quads. Look, this is what you get from Chanel. When you buy a little powder. This is their new one, jumbo. They're keeping up with the trends here. Okay, so maybe you know Jacqueline Hill's known for highlighters. Maybe she'll bring back that champagne pop with a big old jumbo size. Nope. Here you go, jumbo size. This girl, you would never need another highlighter in your life. Right here, just like those Jeffree Star ones, the big circle. You know what I'm talking about, the big old pink Jeffree Star ones back in the day? For those of you who are not caught up on the drama, you know I have references right here. These big old pink Jeffree Star, I was like, maybe Jaclyn Hill will come out with a big old pink highlighter. Or just a big old pink product, whatever. Nope, nope, nope. I think maybe, maybe Jaclyn Hill would launch a new fun palette, like the Candy Shop palette by Juvia's Place. Uh, nope, she didn't do that either. Okay. Maybe she'll come out with the Keeping Up With The Trends and do a talc-free powder. So everyone loves talc-free makeup. Now, nope, she didn't do that either. Maybe she'll do a collaboration with Michaela, Just like I have my own Rich Lux palette. Link down below. Check it out. Rich Lux makeup palette. Love it so much. Nope, she didn't do that. She came out... On, and then she said on TikTok, go to TikTok for the reveal. So I went to TikTok 
It's these little powders, the individual, you can buy them individually now. She didn't drop, you know, I'm, I'm shocked that she did not drop a YouTube video. Hey guys, so today this is my new complexion powder, da -da 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 -da, that whole thing. I didn't see, uh, I didn't see an Instagram video about it. It was just go over to the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics TikTok. Was it, yeah, Jaclyn Cosmetics TikTok and you can see it there. So I went over and I saw it and I was like, this is born in the house. Like you use Michaela and you use your ex-husband that's passed away. May he rest in power. You use the fact that you're gonna throw in Dustin Daly and Nick Snyder and they're off the heels of their own loss. Throw them into this huge scandal. And God knows where they're at mentally and you're dealing with so much stuff. I mean, they've lost their house. There have been family members who passed away. You just threw them in there. Okay, whatever, fine. Off to sell powder complexion products. Wow. All this drama, Jack. If I was Michaela, I literally would be like, you, you're going to use, you knew I was upset that this clown on TikTok was talking about my husband. And you're going to parlay that and piggyback off that. And then you're going to turn around and sell a palette the next day off of it. it it's, it's disingenuous. This is a snake move, and Michaela's not gonna call it out. Because Jaclyn Hill has clout, okay? And then, if anything, Michaela has more clout than Jaclyn Hill. Michaela on TikTok has more influence than Jaclyn Hill. I, I can prove it to you. When I talk about Michaela, six million views on TikTok. Girl, I'll talk about Jaclyn Hill, a little piddly little 20,000 views. What is going on? The focus has changed here. This was an opportunity. Cause you know Jaclyn Hill was sitting at home. I mean, right here, so you know she talks to Linda from Morphe all the time. And she's sitting there and she's just like, oh, I see there's drama with Michaela. Maybe I can use that to my advantage. Um, I'm so sorry, Michaela, you had to go to these bully channels. I'm gonna tweet something out. Cause I know the, the ones who always give me a hard time. This one. Nick, that fucking fat bitch. Nick. And then she tweeted out. And then the next day, because you know she don't do it, she tells her team to do it. Go ahead and go ahead and leak the images. We're gonna promote off the back of this drama. This is it. And the fact that no one sees it, if you don't see it that, that way, I'm I'm in an island all by myself. And I'm sitting here just like screaming. I'm on the top of the hill. I'm dying on this hill. And I will die on this hill by myself because this is how I see it. This is how I see it. She used Michaela, the ex, her dead husband, and drama channels to push the sales of this individual complexion product. Busted the house. Busted the house. She needs drama to sell. Drama sales. Drama sales. The Face It All setting palettes are now available in singles. This is so ideal as I have my favorites from each of these palettes that I keep hitting pan on. And to be able to replenish them in singles is game changer. There are six pans for brightening and six pans for correcting. These powders are infused with smoothing banana flower powder, which helps to create that silky, soft focus effect. They perform best over liquid or cream products, so I'm blending out my concealer first. Till this day, drama sells. And y'all sit up there and say, oh, oh, drama's dead. What are we, drama's so dead, what are we gonna do? Girl, drama's dead because y'all done canceled everybody. And then y'all canceled the cancel culture and it'd be the same people sitting online. Oh my God, the internet is so boring. Oh, every, everything's so boring. Everything's so bored now. There's no one starting any drama. Of course not, cause y'all canceled everybody. Y'all like, up. Oh, you can't say, you can't say master bedroom anymore. You have to say premier suite now cause it's offensive to buy POC community and the microaggressions and all that stuff, all that stuff. It's like nowadays, where are the people who just get online and say, this is how I feel. This is busted the house. You're fat as hell. You need to lose some weight. I see all the chinage. Suck it up. Up, oh, you're fat shaming. Yeah, I'm just calling it like I see it. If you don't like it, unsubscribe. Like, those people are afraid to just speak their mind nowadays, girl, because they're going to cancel the house. Well, guess what? Only the strong survive. Jacqueline Hill, what is going on? Let me know what you think about all that drama in the comments down below. It's very interesting because I will be watching and I will be reading your comments. And for any more exclusive hot tea, follow me on TikTok. See you guys there. Bye.
Bye. Love you so much.